Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and in this video I want to compare and contrast the Laser Cube 2.5 watt uh, Wi-Fi Laser Cube versus the X-Laser Skyrider HPX M2. Why? Well, these are both very similar lasers that we're able to get here in the US and use legally. They both uh, can fit a variety of size venues, uh, really up to, you know, X Laser usually says 500 seats. You can get a little bit bigger, it's just not as apparent, um, etc. So it's a good introductory laser for a lot of users, whether you're a band, a church, uh, a DJ, anything like that. If you're looking to add laser animation to your show, you might have come across these two fixtures and wondered, hey, which one is right for me, what should I be looking for, etc. Let's start with the laser cube. First things first, we have the laser cube 2.5 watt here. Um, it is by Wicked Lasers, and if we see the overhead here, you can see they're very small. Uh, they come with a whole accessory pack, actually, um, which we're, we don't have here, but but you get a case. I've got a Getting Started video that, that shows you the full accessory pack. But you get a soft case, you get the tripod, you get everything you need, including the emergency stop, um, the keys, the easy variance kit to be legal here in the U.S., all the stuff you get. And the beauty of the Laser Cube is there's a couple things that are really stinking awesome about it. Um, the first is it's so small and portable. The second is fan noise wise, it's pretty quiet. Now you'll hear some fan noise in here. That's mostly coming from this guy. He's much louder. Um, but for a two and a half watt laser, it's a tremendous value. Um, and the ability to be able in situations where you have good wireless strength, you can run this thing on Wi-Fi. It's running on Wi-Fi right now straight to my computer. Um, other than that, uh, downsides, is, um, you know, it is battery powered, that's a positive, but they can also be a negative. If you have to mount it somewhere that's hard to reach, it can be harder to kill power to it to get the power switch, um, etc. Same with the emergency stop, it has a relatively short cable, just a couple feet. You can buy longer ones from X Laser from us, uh, you can get longer ones. Um, but it's just kind of annoying, right? Um, so the laser cube is definitely best uh, for small, easier, quicker setups. But I would say the one thing that sets it apart is how easy it is to project graphics with it, to use it with the Laser OS app via iOS, Android, Windows, or Mac, so like any platform, right? Um, that is one thing that does set it apart, that software. Uh, makes it really unique, but also is definitely, uh, you know, it's a software that runs the lasers. And so it's definitely an alternative to running it in a lighting console. Uh, laser cubes aren't great for running from lighting consoles. They're great for running from a PC, a tablet, what have you. Um, the ability then that you get from that is besides the air type effects that you're seeing it go through now, you can also get so many projected images that you can project on walls, you can project outdoors, you can uh, project it, you know, on buildings uh, and, and, you know, put messages across, put images up, advertisements. It can be a really great option uh, to, you know, do something really special for customers, um, have their name on the outside of a building with permission, um, what have you, you know. Uh, so let's go ahead now and talk about the M2. The Skyrider M2 from, from X-Laser. Uh, when you buy a Skyrider M2, here's what you get, okay? Um, you get the laser itself, okay? You get power cable, safety cable, um, you get the, uh, well, you need to order an emergency stop pendant uh, with the two watts it's not included for free, um, but you need one e-stop pendant per laser system. So that's a little bit different with the laser cube and with a lot of lasers, right it's one emergency stop per laser with the x laser units their e-stop system their ether stops they transmit both sac and data and ether stop over network cable so that means 
Your one ether stop can control many lasers. I don't know if there even is a limit, um, which is awesome. And and your distance on these can be pretty long, etc. Okay. Um, the the distance actually, if you don't do the SACN data, can actually exceed the regular Ethernet distance. What makes the Skyrider HPX M2 uh, better? And really, this applies. Um, anything we say about the M2 also applies to the 5, the 10, the 20, the 30. Okay. All those lasers are the same control wise okay so a skywriter laser from x laser primarily programs through their mercury system okay um and so their mercury system allows you to basically use what they call builders so like this is one builder this is another builder right now we've got different effects built in we can bring them both up it starts to get a little a little uh, scanny when i do that but the fact is, you literally can can build all of these basically dynamic gobos, right? All these moving patterns through the air that have different colors, that have combinations of colors within them, that morph colors, you know, over time. And I can take those patterns, build them, combine them, add them, subtract them on the fly. It's like working with a light where you can customize the gobo patterns and morph them inside it and things like that. So for aerial type effects like this, it's just unmatched. I mean, the Skyrider HPXM2 is a really great option for that kind of stuff because you're looking at a fixture that costs as much as a mid-size moving light, but weighs like, I don't know, 10 pounds, um, is very compact, uh, uses only about 60 watts of power, so how awesome is that? I think the, the average reading is about 40 watts. Um, and so it's quick, it's easy to deploy, easy to use, small, um, and controls like a light fixture that has, you know, almost an unlimited number of gobos and colors in it, which I think is what makes it unique and what makes it different. Um, and so that's why we really like the Skyriders. Now, negatives on the Skyriders. One. The fans are so stinking noisy on these things. Um, you know, but at the same time, like, when I'm over here and I get off the side axis of it and, you know, I step away to be, you know, 5, 6, 10, 20 feet away from it, it's, it's not a huge deal, but it is something to be aware of. These aren't silent. They don't claim to be silent. Don't expect them to be silent. But... Most shows or events where you'd use a laser, you probably can get away with that noise level. Even if, say, at the church service, maybe you need to shut power off to them during a sermon. You could totally do that. You know, re-energize them, restart your e-stops, and be back into it uh, at, by the start of the, next, the first song. You know, not a problem at all. So, how do you choose, right? We've got the X laser. We've got the laser cube. We'll restart him in a second. So you've got the laser cube, you've got the Skyrider M2. Two very similar lasers, very similar price points. Yes, the Skyrider is a little bit of a nicer laser, um, but ultimately what I think it comes down to is how you aim to control them, what kind of events you use them for, and whether you're looking for that direct lighting console control like the Skyrider has, or maybe you're looking for something more like the laser cube, where you can pull up an app on a tablet, a computer, what have you, click to different presets, use a MIDI controller, save presets there, or like I did in the other video uh, a few years ago, uh, convert your MIDI to DMX to control from a lighting console. Uh, the benefit, the biggest benefit with these is the ability to do shapes, patterns, text on objects. The Skyrider, on the other hand, very much optimized for beam projection type looks, though it has on the back as well ILDA ports, um, so you can use traditional laser software, which is an, an extra purchase, but if you want, you can do that, and you can make text. You can make that kind of stuff. It's just out of the box with the Mercury. That's not really what it's aimed towards, so it's not its strong suit. I hope this video has really helped you guys if you were considering working with a laser. Uh, both of these, great options. Really great for stage shows and 
um, you know, really awesome buys. If you're looking to have that extra punch, that extra something that the other people in town don't have, you definitely want to consider lasers and getting them from us at Learn Stage Lighting Gear and X Laser here in the U.S. because of our partnership as a dealer means that we'll make sure you get your variants, you have the training to use the laser safely, and you're able to, uh, in confidence, know you're doing things the right way. So if that sounds good, uh, check it out over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear. We've got all these lasers. Check them out. Ask us any questions if you got them, and we'll be glad to help. If not, hey, subscribe here, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks.